Mr. Speaker, there was a time in Washington less than a year ago when if the Speaker of the House of Representatives gave you their word, it meant something. That's no longer true. Because earlier this year, Speaker McCarthy stood in the Oval Office with the President of the United States and negotiated a deal to raise the debt limit and fund the government. And today, instead of keeping his end of the deal, Speaker McCarthy is refusing to even allow bills to come to the floor that would honor that promise and avert a government shutdown. His failures mean that 1.3 million active duty troops will have to continue to work but not be paid for their service. His failures mean that 7 million women and children will not receive the nutrition assistance that they depend on. And his failures means that every one of you can expect flight disruptions, less border security, fewer food and rail safety inspections. There's an old saying, Mr. Speaker, fool me once, shame on you, fool me twice, shame on me. Shame on Speaker McCarthy for forcing the American people to suffer all this foolishness.